to most of us, coral reefs are simply wonderlands. Thriving ecosystems that support thousands of different species. But to scientists, this habitat is more complex and varied. And different organisms, including different types of corals, live in specific parts of the reef. Scientists divide coral reefs into zones. They base these divisions on location within the reef and characteristics such as depth, wave action, light intensity, temperature, and water chemistry. The zones can vary depending on the kind of reef and its location in the world. The most common type of reef is the fringing reef, which grows outward from coastlines of islands and continents. In a fringing reef, the zone found along the shoreline is called the reef flat. For corals, it's a tough place to live. Wide variations in temperature and salinity challenge the corals, and low tides expose them to air. Species that survive here have adapted and often look different than they do in deeper water. The reef flat extends out to the highest part of the reef, called the reef crest. This zone receives the greatest amount of sunlight. Its crusty surface, made of calcium carbonate, can survive the brute force of the waves, which hit hardest here. The last zone of the fringing reef is the one farthest from shore, the reef front, or fore reef. In the shallower part of this zone, the diversity of corals is greater than in other parts of the reef. They thrive between 5 and 20 meters deep, where sunlight filters down and wave action is gentle. Farther out to sea, the reef front slopes downward and can reach great depths. Corals here often grow wide and flat to take maximum advantage of the faint sunlight, a good example of organisms adjusting to a zone's characteristics. A fringing reef may be the most common type of reef, but there are two other types whose zone pattern or zonation, as scientists say, is somewhat different. One is called a barrier reef. Here, the shoreline is separated from the reef by an expanse of water called a lagoon. Next to it, a zone named the back reef leads to the reef crest. The size and depth of lagoons vary widely. The corals that live here do too. The third type of reef is called an atoll. It's usually circular or oval in shape, with a lagoon in the center. The same zones can be found in the atoll too. But the back reef is located in the center along with the lagoon, while the other zones extend outwards from the shoreline. Understanding the different zones in coral reefs contributes to our appreciation of the whole ecosystem. One of the most diverse and productive on Earth.